Greetings everyone. I promise I'm taking you guys on my walk in this summer. Listen, I'm going to make myself very clear. When I do these videos, I'm not trying to please everybody because a person who tries to please everyone is going to displease themselves. I'm just talking about the obvious. I'm talking about certain things that happen in our community and in our families that allow me to be at the place where I'm at. Maybe jaded, but I'd rather stay jaded and protected than have my guards down and get bulldozed. And in my video where I'm speaking about the untimely passing of Shaki, may he rest in peace. This is a man that I love. I can, I can name on one hand the Jamaican YouTubers that I really watch all the time that I get peace from. Chucky is one of those. Color Smith TV, Sunrise Boss. And the reason why I love these guys is because of the nature filled type of videos that they do so when i see certain things i'll put my message out there i don't wait for the crowd i don't wait for the things to happen before i speak my mind so i can speak on chucky because i am a fan of his and i see certain things for a long time that i wanted to speak on and i did okay so you know the bullies are gonna come out of the the, the the ground you know like ants to try to disseminate a lot of lies and the uh, the correction i have here is to say that chucky and the other guy anthony you know passed away days apart but that was false information and that's the thing where you sometimes have to wait to do more research in terms of the time the mistake comes from, you know, the person putting out the video to sh share that the young man had passed, um, you know, violently and never really bothered to say that it's something that happened before. So people are assuming that it was new. It was news and it was it had just happened. And then shortly after that, we hear about freelance jockey. I don't want to dwell on that because I spoke about it in the previous video, but I'm going to say here anytime something happens if we are told that something is an accident look for the meaning of accident this is why i'm saying i am not saying it's an accident because someone ran him over and left him on the side of the road okay that's an occurrence all right and i'm telling you Jamaica is full with bad mind people. And some of these bad mind people are actually a part of your family. The question anybody could ask themselves is, who stand to benefit from his passing? Now, I'm not family, and I respect the family that are grieving, but I'm going to just put it out there because I always think to myself that um, a lot of time when you're making your you know, rounds and you're doing well and you're climbing person as humble as Chucky you know didn't want fanfare he talks about Babylon mm -hmm. you know and so he's a, a healthy person a healthy person is a person who's peaceful or was peaceful as you know he's still here in spirit so sometimes we talk about the person who transcend you know in this light like they're no longer but this they, they still are they're no longer in the flesh but it raised critical awareness for us. We learn from other person's situation. And we're saying he, his passing could be any number of person could be responsible for that. Any number because we see it all the time. We see friends, we see neighbors, we see relatives, we see people hating on individuals because they're doing well or an opportunity opens for them and they're prospering. So whenever anyone passes that way, you're in a position where you have to start thinking critically and start asking these questions. Because the unfortunate thing is these devils out here in the world, they do a bunch of stuff because we, 
we are surface people so we just look at things on the surface and we just accept it you know and people continue you know do these underhanded terrible things it's not that i fear that when you don't talk about it people will escape they won't but it just allows you as an individual to take caution you know and to look carefully it's very very scary very scary and again i'm going to say it is not the stranger that you have to worry about it's your own people in your circle and that's what makes it very scary the enemy oftentimes or the true enemy oftentimes is within because no one else can penetrate that wall unless you invite them or let them in that's what i'm saying so you know you got so many more persons are in danger because of the people that they trust these are the ones who can betray them these are the ones who will betray them so when we see these unfortunate events unfold we can't look at it like it's to the other person you have to look and say this could happen to me and you hope and pray that in time those who are responsible for the doing wrong things can be found and dealt with not just by the law of the land but by the universe All right, hold on. do you understand what i'm saying where i'm coming from with this people have no conscience they will take what is not theirs something you've earned worked hard for they take it listen it's happening to me do you think I'm going to go to Jamaica and announce myself when I go to Jamaica? No, I won't do that. Because there are people who are very wicked and they will always see you as a threat when they want what belongs to you. When they make up their mind that what you got is theirs, they will destroy you. It is happening to me as we speak. Right there on the beautiful island of Jamaica. By people not strangers but my own so when we see what's going on we have to ask questions because we know some of our people are very wicked and some of our people will take penny and the dollar to destroy their own they will side with other people they will take bribe they will destroy you Trust and believe. This is not an if. So when we ask questions, it seems like we are um, conspiracy theorists, but we can't help it. Those of us who have been injured or hurt by people that we care for, our loved ones, we, we, we stay guarded. We stay ready. We stay with the questions, but we, we also protect ourselves. Some people protect themselves physically, but I am making sure that I always arm myself spiritually. Mm -hmm. Because it's the only way you're going to be surviving out here. If you have if you have ambition. You see, if you're worthless and you're not going anywhere, you don't want anything in life, you don't have to worry. Yeah, people look down on you and people will just, you know, see you as no threat. But the moment you start to say, I dare to dream. I want more. I want a piece of this pie and that's where the problem begins for you okay it's such a sad day and it's even more sad because I know there's more of these unfortunate stories to come out because we are too trusting once you put yourself out there like that and you start to gain a certain amount of fame you cannot be too trusting. You have to then recoil into your shell. And it seems like, you know, you're paranoid, but you have no choice. Paranoia is makes sense. You know, the more you're exposed, the more danger you are attract to yourself. The more enemies you draw to you, unfortunately. Do you get what I'm saying? When you post, you don't always have the whole fact. And if you make a mistake, we're happy to come and fix that. Okay? Stay blessed.